Good afternoon, everybody. I am here with my little buddy Oreo, and we are in front of our RV, the RV that was donated to the One Love Rescue Organization. Uh, this is the RV that we are hoping to build into our mobile spay and neuter clinic. So come along and check it out with me and let me explain a little bit about what I do. And um, so part of what I do is trying to travel around California, picking up dogs from farm communities, bringing them into neighborhoods where people are going to use them for breeding and only use them for companionship. 10% uh, of America's dogs only make it into forever homes. So it's far, far, uh, not good numbers. And uh, we need to do something about it. So what I want to do is to be able to have a spay and neuter clinic that works all the time. Not just one day a month or a couple of days of the month or one day out of the year. I see so many of these vehicles that are just parked in the back of a shelter or SPCAs or anything and they just don't use them very often. Um, so anyhow, we have this very big RV and it actually it used to be, um, well, it used to be a very nice RV and then it was turned into a dog house and used for another rescue organization for a few years and then it was donated to us. And so we are going to use um, this very large RV to build the spay and neuter clinic um, and vaccination clinic that we can use and walk or drive into these neighborhoods and um, help people out and educate them spay and neuter their dogs after we've taken dogs or puppies from them. Um, a lot of people just generally can't afford these things. It's, it's a luxury. So if we're able to provide spay and neuters to people for under $100, then there will be a lot more dogs in the Central Valley being spayed and neutered, and the euthanasia rate in our shelters will drastically change. So... I always believe that there are other ways to rescue animals and you have to start, um, you have to start in the neighborhoods and you have to talk to these people and you have to work with them. And especially, you know, there's a lot of things that people don't think about. There's hoarders and, you know, people who are mentally sick and have these animals and think that they're helping them, but they're actually inadvertently breeding dogs in their homes with you know 20 or 30 dogs in their garages and this happens all the time so and then you call animal control on them animal control comes euthanizes the batch of them they don't even do anything for them so we need to work on this a little bit harder and so that's my idea and so i got a buddy he builds food trucks and hopefully we can get him to help us out and help us make some plans and stuff. But building a spay and neuter clinic is easy. I mean, you know, you have tables and, you know, <laughs> lamps and different things, I'm sure. I, I don't know all of the things you need inside. They're all expensive, I'm sure. But, and then once we're done with that, we'll hire, um, you know, student uh, veterinarians and vet techs that will come and, and work. So, so we're going to talk with Davis and try to get some students and, and then work with the veterans to see if they want to come out and help out and do some stuff with us. So anyway, if you want to help out and make this dream come true, uh, you should do so by donating to the.